this is Joey Fatone. It's time to play Family Feud. Give it up for Steve Harvey. Hey, that's good. Hey, welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. We got a good one for you. We got the Brown family playing against the Brennan family. All of this for a chance to win a lot of cash and a shot at a brand new car right there. Let's play Feud. Give me Dorothy. Give me Nancy. Let's go. Ladies, top seven answers are on the board. Name something you hope the other couple doesn't do when you're on a double date. Fight. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Fight and argue. One answer can top it, Dorothy. Drink too much. Drink. <laughs> Get full. <laughs> wow. Pass or play. We're gonna play, They're gonna play, gonna play Dorothy. Kevin, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? Okay, Kevin, uh, name something you hope the other couple doesn't do when you're out on a double date. Smooch. Hope they don't start smooching. <laughs> Jay, what do you say, man? All right, Jay, name something you hope that the other couple doesn't do when you're out on a double date. How about hit on your spouse? Hit, wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hitting on your spouse. Kristen, how you doing? I'm doing fine. That's good. Name something you hope that the other couple doesn't do when you're out on a double date. Leave you with the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Leave you with the bill. Okay. Y'all are rolling pretty good. Chad, how you doing, man? Excellent, excellent. Nice tie, like Thank that. You. Name something you hope the other couple doesn't do when you're out on a double date. Talk about their love life. Talk about their love life. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing well. Good, good, good. Where are you folks from? We are from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Woo! The Packers. The Packers. Yeah. Super Bowl champs. Man. Yeah. How many people live in, in, in Green Bay? Mm, about 100,000. Are you serious? <laughs> We're from your, your whole city is at the damn game. <laughs> yeah. Let's just go straight to the question. Okay. Name something you hope the other couple doesn't do when you're on a double date. Um, bring their children. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. I don't know if it's up there, but that's a good answer. Bring the children. Oh. Wow, Kevin, we got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the Brown family can get ready to steal. Talk on the phone. Oh, Talk on the phone. <laughs> Dorothy, if it's there, here's your chance. It's real simple. Name something you hope the other couple doesn't do when you're out on a double date. Talk too much. Yes! Get it back, get it back. Talk too much. <laughs> Number five. Number seven. <laughs> hey, let's move on to question two. Give me Dana, give me Kevin, let's go. <laughs> hey guys, here we go. We've got the top six answers are on the board. Name a body part you'd hate to have your doctor accidentally so shut during an operation. <laughs> Kevin. Your lips. Your lips. Pass the play. I think we'll play. All right. I'm not going to do any jokes on this run right here, because all of my answers are not going to make it. Let's go. Jay, name a body part you'd hate to have your doctor accidentally so shut during an operation. Stomach. You got to eat. Yeah, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Your stomach. <laughs> Christine? Your eyes. Good. Your eyes. Your eyes. <laughs> Only one strike, Chad. Give me a body part you'd hate to have your doctor accidentally so shut during an operation. I gotta go here. Your butt. Yeah. 
That's a guy answer, Chad. It is. I don't know if it's up there, but that created a big problem for me, because, <laughs> whoo, your butt. Yeah. All right, Nancy, you only got one strike. Name a body part you hate to have your doctor accidentally so shut during an operation. What about your nose? <laughs> Good answer. What about your nose? Going pretty good, only one strike. Kevin, give me a body part that you'd hate for your doctor to sew shut during an operation. Your ears. Good answer. Good answer. Your ears. Oh. Well, Jay, we got two strikes, buddy. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the Brown family, get ready to steal. I'm running out of parts. How about your vagina? Well, I'm gonna just have to go home and say this right here. I'm killing that doctor, okay? <laughs> I mean, I, we have no reason to live. <laughs> I'm out of here. It's up there. <laughs> Jay said, Jay said, it's up there. <laughs> if it ain't up there, Jay, it's the best ain't up there answer I've ever heard. <laughs> The vagina. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hi, Kristen. You've got two strikes. If it's there, you clear the board. Nothing you can say is better than what we just did. So <laughs> just feel free to let go. Your throat. Oh, Your throat. <laughs> Brown family, hey, name a body part you'd hate to have your doctor accidentally so shut during an operation. The Brown family is going to go with legs. Good answer, good answer, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Your legs. Ah, <laughs> uh, number six. Everybody's game. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back. More Family Feud right after this. Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. We got a good one going on here. We got the Brennan family, 179. We got the Brown family, zero. Give me Faye, give me Jay. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oh. Whoo. Uh, top five answers are on the board. Here we go. Name something a husband hopes his wife doesn't tell him to get rid of. Faith. The dog. The dog. Yeah. Jay? Yeah. How about his tools? His tools. Yeah. We control it, Faith. We're playing, Steve. They're gonna play. Yeah. Brenda, how you doing? I'm good. Good. You just had a birthday recently. 50. And fly. And fly. That's it. <laughs> Name something a husband hopes his wife doesn't tell him to get rid of. His smokes. His smokes. <laughs> Wanda, how you doing? I'm wonderful, see, wonderful. You're the, um... Uh... All this of all of these kitty baby babes. <laughs> You look absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Do this. You do, give me this right here. All that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really a tragic when you want a woman's arms attached to your body. <laughs> I'm not having a real good moment right now. You know, every time she do that, I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Wanda, name something a husband hopes his wife doesn't tell him to get rid of. Old clothes. His old clothes. <laughs> Dorothy, how you doing today? I'm doing great. And tell everybody what you do again. I work for a community college in the great Lone Star State of Texas. Oh, do you? Yes, sir. <laughs> name something a husband hopes his wife doesn't tell him to get rid of. His motorcycle. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. His motorcycle. 
Well, we got two strikes, Dana. I think guys hold on to their furniture, all of their personal stuff. Good answer, Dana. Yeah. 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 Good answer. Their furniture. Faye? Yes, Two Steve. strikes. If it's there, still alive. If not, Brendan family can get ready to steal. His car, Steve. Yeah! The car! Yeah! Woo! Bring it on home, Brenda. Brenda, bring it on home. His best friend. Wow. Yeah! That's a good answer. His best friend. <laughs> Nancy, here's your chance. What's your answer? Name something a husband hopes his wife doesn't tell him to get rid of for the steal. His porn. <laughs> Boy, y'all, y'all up in Wisconsin, y'all ain't messing around up there. Okay? <laughs> for the win, his porn. I mean, it was up there exactly. Collection and porn. We'll be right back. Find out who wins this thing right after this. Don't go away, folks. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Brennan family, 281. Brown family not on the board, but it's anybody's game. Let's go see. Give me Brenda. Give me Kristen. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies, this is a big one. Point values are tripled. Top Three answers are on the board. Name a place you'd hate to get caught on hidden camera. Kristen. Uh, porn shop. Porn shop. You got porno magazines at the house. Your brother don't want his vagina so shut. And now you sitting up here don't want to get caught down at the porn shop. Why, why are you down there, Kristen? They brought let's, me there. <laughs> let's see if it's up there, the porn shop. <laughs> Brenda. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Pass or play? Play, Steve! They're gonna play. <laughs> Top three answers on the board, only two left. Uh, Wanda, let's go. Uh, place would be a nightclub. A nightclub. <laughs> A nightclub. <laughs> Only one strike. Dorothy, name a place you'd hate to get caught on hidden camera. In the potty. In the potty. <laughs> Dana? Jail. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> Two strikes, Faye. Name a place you'd hate to get caught on hidden camera. The department store stealing. The yeah. department yeah. store yeah. stealing. Yeah. Nancy, here's the deal. If it's there, if your answer is on the board, you steal, you win. If it's not there, the other team goes to sudden death. Name a place you'd hate to get caught on hidden camera. The dressing room. For the win, the dressing room. <laughs> Thank y'all for Y'all for We sure y'all played well. Y'all really played well. Y'all presented good. Hey, Brennan family, let's play Fast Money. Give me two people, let's go. I think we got them. That's who I pick right here. We'll be right back to play Fast Money with Kristen and Natalie. Nancy. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Brennan family won the game, and it's time to play Fast Money! Hey, Nancy, uh, before we start, here's your sister-in-law, Jody, wants to wish you guys luck. Good job, Brennans. Okay, Kristen and Nancy, good luck and fast money. You got this. Yay! Nancy, 
Kristen is off stage. She can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass. And if we have enough time, we'll get back to it again. Then if you and Kristen manage to put together 200 points, look right there and tell everybody what you win. $20,000! So I like it. I like it because you look like you're walking towards it. I like that. That was hot. Okay, good. Are you ready? Yes. Good. 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name something people make sure is comfortable before they buy it. A bed. On a scale of one to ten, how nice a person are you? Eight. Name a place where you, where even shy people will sing. Church. Tell me a game people play when they go to a casino. Slot machines. Name a sport where players score a goal. Football. Wow. Wow. Those were some pretty good answers. Nancy, let's go. I said name something people make sure is comfortable before they buy it. You said? The bed survey said. Yeah. On a scale of one to 10, how nice a person are you? You said? Eight. Survey said? Wow. Name a place where even shy people will sing. You said? Church. Survey said? Ah. <laughs> Tell me a game people play when they go to a casino. You said? Slot machine. That's the number one money maker at any casino. Survey said. Wow. <laughs> Name a sport where players score a goal. You said. Football. The Packers. Survey said. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Kristen. I got some great news for you. Your sister got 148 points. You need 52 points. All right, now I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answer. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. I'm gonna say try again. You give me another answer, okay? It's gonna be a little bit tougher this time, so we're gonna give you 25 seconds. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everyone of Nancy's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Name something people make sure is comfortable before they buy it. Shoes. On a scale of one to 10, how nice a person are you? Seven. Name a place where even shy people will sing. Karaoke. Tell me a game people play when they go to a casino. Blackjack. Name a sport where players score a goal. Soccer. Wow. Kristen, I got a good feeling. Let's go. Name something people make sure is comfortable before they buy it. You said? Shoes. Survey said? Yeah. Bed was the number one answer. I asked you then, on a scale of one to 10, how nice a person are you? You said? Seven. Survey said? Number one answer, she gave that one to number eight. Ooh, we're 10 points away. Name a place where even shy people will sing. You said karaoke. If 10 other people said it, we going to the bank. Survey said. People play when they go to a casino, slot machine. She gave that. And name a sport where players score a goal. She says soccer. That was the number one answer, too. Wow, $20,000. And they're coming back for another shot of some more money. Face another family. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks. Wow.